Hi guys, thank you so much for being here and I really do hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about this thing here. It's a British Army respirator pack. Why do I have one of these? Do I feel like I'm going to be gassed out at some point? No, uh, but if you speak to my wife, she probably wants a gas mask because uh, I gas her out quite a bit. It's that high protein diet I have. Guys, this is such a great piece of kit for carrying your day pack. And uh, I'm going to talk you through some of the benefits it's got. And the best thing about this is the price, but we'll get back onto that later. Okay, so let's deal with the outside of the, uh, the pack first. It's made of a dense uh, canvas fiber. Uh, it's really going to take some wear and tear. In fact, the place where you're going to get the most wear and tear will, will be about there if you wear it on your, uh, on your side going across your body. And that's, that's got reinforcement anyway. We have a number of attachment points you could put through, uh, through belts or loop onto other systems. Here, we, under here, this was uh, literally ex-military, uh, belonged to someone called Gibbons, in fact, which the funny story there is that when me and my wife are out in the woods area, um, our call to each other is a gibbon noise, which if you've never heard is whoop, whoop. And that, that's how we know each other. So uh, I, I literally had to get this when I saw it was from Gibbons. Um, so you have a couple of poppers and uh, some strong Velcro there to help you put that through uh, either um, your belt or, or oh gosh, they're, they're, they really are strong poppers, um, to, to put through your belt system or to attach it to a pack. Here we have a couple of loops and a piece of cordage to wrap it around your body, again, to give you a bit more stability, stop it flopping or flopping about everywhere. The strap itself, um, very strong, it comes with a clip, so you can unclip it very easily if you so wish. That little pocket, again, for, the, for this piece of cordage, but could be used for anything. Over here, we have a, uh, another pocket with a loop loop tag so you could uh, have something hanging from there. You could even have your Swedish Army folding cup, which if you haven't seen the video, there is a video, uh, I don't know, I'll put it up there somewhere. You, you could have that hanging from it with the carabiner, but we'll ignore the uh, cup because I completely forgot it was in there. But yes, we, uh, we have a Velcro pouch there. It's waterproof. It's, it's got some kind of um, waterproof lining in there. Let's get into the pack proper. We have, I'm gonna bring this up to the camera so that you can have a good look in. There we go. So we, we have inside, uh, it closes with a Velcro system around four areas and also a popper for the middle part, which again has a, a loop which you could put your finger through to pull open or hang something from. Inside the actual lid itself, it has two elasticated cords, very good for things like the Baco Laplander. If I go out on a day, little day trip somewhere, a uh, little Baco Laplander, also very good, and just about gets in there if you do a bit of maneuvering with it, the uh, Bushbox XL. If you've not seen that video, I'll pop that up about there. There we go, I don't know if I will actually put it there, but I'll try to. The, the, the backing material is really strong. I don't know what it's reinforced with, but it's, it's certainly reinforced, that's for sure. Inside we have two areas where, I'm trying to see if this is visible. Yes, there we go. We have two areas you, that could happily hold uh, something, perhaps a bottle or a little con con uh, container of sorts, and a Velcro strap that would go over that. And there's a, a one mimicked on the other side there. On the front edge, we have a flap that contains a pocket. In that pocket, again, is a, a sort of generous space to hold things and three looped systems, the kind you'd find in a regular pack to put your pens in and things like that. Um, so you've got ample storage space in there. It's all waterproof on the inside. Um, it's got this sort of waterproof um, lining to it. And at the bottom right there, you'll notice that there is a drain hole as well. So if water did find its way in there some way, it could drain out of it. I've managed to get in this Quite comfortably, my hammock system, my tarp, my Bushbox XL, my Baco Laplander, um, and just about squeezing in 
my Yugoslavian mess kit, which is also containing my water. So, uh, and in this little side pocket, my brew kit. So everything's there for a day out in the woods, enjoying yourself. And it, it looks pretty cool, fits on your body, and uh, you're not carrying too much excessive weight. I don't know the weight on this, but it's, it's a fairly, fairly lightish pack. You're not going to be uh, crying about it. Even when it's over your body, um, the fact that you can hook it on in various places, attach it to your belt, and um, uh, and over your neck at the same time, uh, sorry, over your shoulder at the same time, means that you can weight distribute very, very easily. Uh, and it feels like you're not wearing anything at all. By far, one of the best things about this respirator bag is that it is very cost effective. How much did this cost me? This one is literally X Army and it cost me five pounds from a surplus store. How great is that? I mean, I'm a bag and box fetish kind of guy. I love them. If you love bags and boxes too, drop in the comment section down there. Just put, I love boxes and bags. And uh, we can all, I don't know, create a support group or something like that. But um, you'll be hard pressed to find a bag in the UK for five pounds of this quality. If you're into your man bags, you don't get much more of a manlier man bag than this. If you can have a manly man bag, I don't know if that's an oxymoron, but um, a great quality bag, five quid. If you want one that isn't sort of used and a bit sort of rough around the edges and a bit of worn here and there then it's going to cost you about 20 pound for a new one i don't know if the new ones are replica or if they're um they're, they're made by the the same company that makes these so i can't attest to the quality but i quite like the idea that this has been taken out into the field with someone and uh and it, it's got a bit beat and it's still pretty good um it, it lets me know that the quality of this is is very very substantially um well made and um and it is hard wearing for the future that's it if you have any questions about this if you want to just join in with the bag and box fetish comments below join in but if you do have any questions drop them down there and i will get to them in due time i will promise i will try to answer nearly every question that you ask and until the next video take care guys happy bushcrafting <laughs>